Anchors up. Sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? You know, Kyle, I am not going to complain. Um, I want to get right into this because a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I guess, um, we did a we did a we did a an episode. That's that's the word I was looking for. We did an episode where we ranked a bunch of Ohio State and others. We did a bunch of Ohio State ones, uh, but we didn't stop there. We went and ranked a bunch of college football uniforms. Uh, that was fun. That we got some. That was fun. We enjoyed that. We got a lot of engagement off of that. So screw it. Let's do it again, but slightly different. Slightly different. So I present to everybody, as we will waste zero time, the logo tier list. <coughs> I do not uh, yeah, necessarily might, plan on going through all of these. Um, yeah, you, you, you we might, might do a lightning. Uh, we might do a lightning round of fine but boring, because there's just there's a lot of just like letters. So we might do yeah. a lightning round of the, fine but boring. But for the most part, um, again, I don't feel like going through all of these. Everyone in the chat, feel free to pop new logos that you think uh, we do not have. Uh, in the chat, and we will also rank those if if I feel like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, for, and, those, for those listening, you might have heard us talking about this. If, um, how long ago was it? We we talked about this. I want to say it was it wasn't that terribly long ago. We we're talking about, or, or maybe maybe that was in the Sloop Cat. That may have been. I can't remember. May, I think that was a Patreon episode. Okay. Yeah. We, we did talk about this in the in the Sloop Cats only episode here. Talk about how many logos there really are that wear the the quote sailor hat. I have found um, and I wasn't able to found a couple different theories why so many college athletic departments used to have sailor hat logos. Um couldn't find any like solid leads on that. I found so. And, and when I went looking for answers on that, cause I did go looking for answers on that. Um, I found several different stories. So I, I, I think they're all the stories are probably bad then. So I think we just, uh, the, the one I found that at least made some sense was there was a point in time and I, I didn't write down the guy's name. So I don't remember he's dead anyway. He doesn't care. Um, there was a point in time in which one man in California was responsible for about 90% of the athletic department logos in the country. Yep. That might help explain yep. it. Yeah, we we went over that. I yeah, I forget, I forget which which school started it, but there was no, it was yeah, out in California. I, it, either way. We're, we're, let's go. Let's go through these. We have a lot. We have a lot here, Jared, to go through. And I, I want to go through. <laughs> oh. oh, can we start with? Austin okay, wants let's to do it. Austin start with this. the two you think are best. Oh, Austin. Dang, good work. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, one. Up, oh, one a piece. Okay. Um, I'll go. I absolutely adore. <clears throat> I take it all loyalty off the table. Maybe my absolute favorite logo of anything ever, period. Is the Washington State Cougars. Okay. Uh, it is simply the best. It's a it's a whatever you say, Jared, they're gonna hate. It's a clean <laughs> logo. It's a single color logo, although sometimes they have a gray or they most of the time have some sort of background behind it. It's both a cougar and it's the initials of the university, both of which read incredibly well. It's a clean logo. That's you. That logo is recognizable <clears throat> if it's tiny or if it's enormous. I think it's just one of the best, cleanest logos of anything I've ever seen ever. Yeah, that's. That's definitely a good one, Jared. There's, man, I have I have a hard time 
have a hard time um, picking like my best one. Way to put me on the spot here, Austin. <laughs> oh, one of my favorites here. I really like the 90s Ohio State logo, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you talking about this one? Yeah. But I don't know if that's my favorite, though. God, we're going to have an argument about that later. <laughs> well, that's not going too much lower than S, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to have an argument about that later. This might be unpopular. <laughs> um, let's see. So I would say... Probably my favorite of the list that we have here, Jared. Pal, if it's not on the <sighs> list, I'll go get it. Because if it's your favorite I and I, I didn't get it, that that's a that's a failure on my part, honestly. Yeah. Pal, I don't I'm know. Gonna, I gonna need I know, an answer. I know. I know. I'm str I'm struggling here, so I <laughs> I'm probably gonna pick. Do it. I don't know. The the the, <laughs> the Sparty the Sparty one is a very classic one. Are we picking it? You're picking it, because I'm tired of waiting. Okay. And by the way, I agree. I think this is a perfect logo. There are a lot of different, you know, Trojans, Spartans, sort of Bronze Age um warrior logos out there and i think michigan states is is the best most of them usc oh, yeah, trojans yeah. Well, hope the, one, USC hope the, trojans. Hope the one hope the one with usc there right next to it jared yes that one there i actually yeah. kind of like that this one, up one right next to it this is uh them. one of usc's alternate logos this was never at any point their main logo but i think it's clean i like it a lot mm -hmm. yeah it's it's, it's not bad. I mean, I, I definitely like it better than most of their most of their logos, though. But the Sparty one is definitely a lot cleaner. Yeah, I, I do like this a lot. Um, is it S tier? This is a alternate Sparty logo or excuse me, an alternate uh, USC. I I'd, I'd probably logo. keep it an S tier for now. Let, think, let's keep it. I, I like it more than their SC. Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, speaking of which, can I find it real quick in this mess? Oh, uh, here it the, is. The Trojan SC. How do you feel? Um, needs updated. Needs updated. I'm going to say fine, but boring personally. Chat, you want to break the I, tie on that one? I'm fine with that, too. I'm fine. You're with fine that. With I was that? kind of torn between B and C. If you say C, we'll put it in C. The only reason we'd put it above, in my opinion, the only reason we put it above C is just because it's 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 USC. And like, but we're, we're ranking these based off of logos. Right. Uh, Austin said that I like the EW logo. I, uh, Eastern Washington, I assume he must mean, I, I think this is. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, I, this, that is, this is perfection in my, in my opinion. This is perfection. Getting to use the, the abbreviations in the logo there. And it's not just a boring, just the letters and that's it. And there are, yeah. it's, it's, it's really hard to make something unique out of a bird when there's so many damn bird logos. Mm -hmm. So they were able to make something unique. It's clean. It's classic. I, I, I think it's S tier. Mm -hmm. So speaking of bird, bird ones though. So that <laughs> one, yeah, I agree. I think that one, that one is very, bird very with good. with EWU sailor hat. <laughs> but then you have one for like Kansas where it's just a bird with KU in it though. I don't, I don't think that that's a, a good way to, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's not a. I, it, this one fine. needs an I mean, update in my opinion. It needs updated. It's, it's fine, but it, yeah, it definitely needs updated. Yeah. It's a bird in a sweater. <laughs> now, but since, since we're talking about Kansas, uh, mm -hmm. I, there is a classic Kansas. I use classic loosely here. Uh, uh, mm. This is an actual Kansas logo. That a third grader made? I don't know what to tell you. 
Um, I personally want to put this in D tier. At least you tried. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yes, at least you tried. <laughs> uh, yes, Gangland. I was actually, well, I'm sorry, Austin. I was actually torn. I almost had that. I almost had them as my favorite one. But the green wave, Jared. Yeah, How about I, the green. I, I, have, I have down. Yep, there, there you go. Um, This is amazing. In my opinion, <laughs> it's it, it's feels so old yet doesn't feel cheesy. Can I want to put it in a tier and, and here's why. I, I think it's I think it's near perfection, but it fails in one in one thing. If he lifts the megaphone up to his mouth, Tulane is upside down. <laughs> Whoever made this has a lack a point, of spatial fellas. awareness. He does have a point there. The Tulane should be upside or, down. Hear, or, 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 or hear me out, Jared. Hear yeah. me out. Instead of like him just turning it, he just he just turns it sideways. And it still says two lane. You just turn it. No, look, it's yeah, upside down like it. this. And then if you pull yeah. it up, you're turning okay. it. Oh, okay. Don't do it that way, Jared. Don't turn it up like this. He has it like this. Just, just take it in. Just turn it in the microphone or, or the open. That's making your voice more the quiet. And <laughs> the close end is towards you. Then it, it works. No, it doesn't. Either way, we're moving on, Jared. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> um, lots of lots of like fine and boring ones. So any ones that you see, you, okay. You you want to you want to do a fine but boring lightning round? All right. I'm just going to start from the top here, like like TCU, um, Alabama. TCU, fine but boring. Alabama, fine but boring. Al Nebraska, Alabama, fine but boring. Nebraska, like Nebraska, fine but there. boring. Syracuse, Mississippi State, all all, all of those there. There are just way Arizona, too many there, Jerry. Arizona. Um, I'm gonna throw Arizona State in there too, just because you intertwine mm -hmm. the letters doesn't make it any better. UCF, I think, has a decent alternative logo, but that's not what that is. Wake Forest, Virginia Tech, um, Happy state. There's just a lot of these that are just, they just exist. They, they simply exist. Um, mm -hmm. you can put in Georgia in there as Jared well. DMS on my phone. What are you talking about? Rutgers mention. Yeah. Rutgers. I don't know if I said anything about Rutgers yet. Um, but they d definitely deserve to be in there. Um, Wisconsin there. Wisconsin. There's, um, Colorado. I don't know. It's kind of a generic looking buffalo shape with a CU in the, it. The O, Oregon, Kentucky that you have on the right side there. Those two. No, no, no. We need to talk about boring. Kentucky. Like okay. check the DM um, on your phone. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't LMAO me. When you said that, <laughs> you did not. DM me yet. At least I didn't get the notif yet. That's in the, in you the saw me there. pick up my phone and look. In the middle there, Jared, like Tennessee, Nebraska, and Purdue, and Baylor, and Auburn, and Illinois, and Oklahoma State. All those like, yeah. You spelled it the same way all, as I did, Austin. Are all fine and boring. Yeah, everything's we'll, we'll we'll keep adding. We'll keep adding to that as we go. Uh, I'm going to add Notre Dame into that. Um, some people might find that controversial because they're Notre Dame and iconography and all that. Um, I don't care. Um, no, I, I, I checked. I checked the actual app on my computer as well. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah. Like Wait, in the, in I, I want to middle. I want to talk about Kentucky real quick. I, I discovered sure. this when researching hmm. logo, uh, researching jerseys the other week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a side by side here. 
we needed to talk about Houston and Kentucky <laughs> having the same damn logo. I mean, obviously one's an H and one's a K, but that's the same damn logo. Same font. Same font and just that middle. <laughs> like, here's the thing. They squeeze the Kentucky one a bit. Watch this. This is this is the Kentucky as it's supposed to look. I'm a, I'm a stretch it out. It's the same damn logo. Now, you might be asking who had it first. It was Houston. So Houston. Fine, but you st it's still just two letters. You're still getting fine, but boring. But Kentucky stole their shit. Um, total rebrand. Total rebrand. <laughs> Come up with something original, Kentucky. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Crazier if they got it in the same year. They didn't. <laughs> Um, Kyle, can we talk about these? Can we talk about these tigers? No, please. No, we're talking about these tigers. It's happening. All of the SEC schools. <laughs> uh, and Princeton and Occidental and Missouri wasn't a, wasn't an SEC that, school at the, the school, time. Bro. That's the school. What's that's the, the one that um, I think is the originated. <laughs> The one that you just said. Occidental is the name mm -hmm. of the university, Ganglin. The, these are the exact same logos, and all five of these programs had them at the same time. It is the same damn logo. Um, that's how, how are you going to up and steal someone else's logo? And have all the same damn logos. And by the way, the fucking sailor hats. Missouri's in the middle of the state. LSU's in the middle of the country. I don't, I don't know where Occidental is. Princeton. Auburn. Why, why are you guys wearing sailor hats? Listen, let's talk about the sailor hats. I want to talk about the sailor hats. There are two acceptable sailor hats, in my opinion. Miami. I mean, we are talking about a coastal bird in a coastal city. I'm giving them a pass. Mm -hmm. And we have the classic Oregon logo. It's Donald Duck. He's a duck. Oregon is at least a coastal state. I will give these two teams passes on the sailor hats. And I also really like both of these logos. Um, Neither of these teams use these logos anymore, which is a damn shame. Well, where would you rank these logos, Kyle? Um, I, I think I think the Miami one probably be a B tier. I would say B. I, I I disagree. I think it's an A tier. I think it's I think it's classic cool. I think it's a classic cool retro. What what does chat say? A or B for uh, Ibis, I believe is his name. That's an A, Austin says. All right. Donald Duck. Not an, not an A because you pretty much took Donald Duck, made him wear green, and have him going through a, a green O. I wouldn't say I, it's an O. I, you know, I was ready to put him in A2, but I think Kyle talked me out of it. I think that was a good. And Donald should have been wearing green the whole time, so it's a good retcon. Based on what? <laughs> um, Where do we want to go? Oh, go I was, uh, more sailor hats. We're, we're doing sailor hats. Uh, did you know that Alabama once had a sailor hat logo? Yeah, that can go to the M tier there. <laughs> Close the athletic department. Uh, yeah, it's not good. It's not. It's not good. You don't hate that one, actually. Austin says I. I. I disagree. I do. That's. That's terrible. <laughs> it looks like a carnival elephant. They were shooting for carnival elephant. I don't think that's where they landed. That's what no. they were trying for. That that uh, is what, what is, this. No, hold on. This is what happens if you ask a second grader who's never seen the Dumbo movie to to draw Dumbo. This is what you get. Third grader. 
third grader maybe yeah um all right um we got we got i think about four more i think there's four more of them here jared sailors maybe prob- five uh probably i think more uh check out this virginia tech classic i have many comments <laughs> on this none of them are acceptable for me to say on youtube yeah this one's not this is uh yeah. the, the the vpi turkey um this is I, I I have no I have nothing uh YouTube friendly to say about that one. Uh, I'm putting that in M tier. All right. The the other ones here, uh there's a oh, oh that one's actually not terrible. The Oregon State one is not terrible. That one I don't think should go into the M tier. I would agree with you no. if it didn't look like a racist caricature of a Japanese person circa World War II. This looks like Dr. Seuss um, in his anti Japan propaganda era drew this. Yeah, I'd probably put it. No, this D? is this this I've... is racist. I, I, I can't I can't let this exist outside of him. I can't. Politics. No, that's not politics. That's those are those are just facts. Uh. No, that that that's right. going in. Um, it's, it's, I, they, they would it's, they would get a is, sailor hat pass because a beaver is at least an aquatic animal and it's yes. a coastal state. But that's that's just straight up like. Okay, the the other ones here, Jared. There's is the, the second there's the eyeball Michigan. or his nose. That's a nose. That's a nose. Oh God! But I'll I'll be damned if that's not a good question. <laughs> Can't unsee it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Michigan one is bad. That goes in the M tier as well. UNC is an interesting one. Kyle, I don't I know actually. If, I think I actually one... don't hate this. Eh, I, I do. I want to put it at least an E. Guys, no, what Jeff. do you say? You, you, you're not putting. You're not letting me put Oregon State there. Oh, I'm not letting okay. you put it above M. All right, Kyle. Ky- I, I I I pulled a Trump. Kyle pulls a Trump in return. Okay. Um, there's um, the UNC that you have down at the bottom, right? I don't hate that one. From an artistic why, standpoint, why I don't hate a sailor it. Sailor hat, though. From why? an artistic standpoint, I don't I don't dislike this. I actually, kind of like it. We do need to dock it at least a letter for an inappropriate use of a sailor hat, but I don't hate this. Yes. Um, so maybe maybe put that in D tier then. I kind of want to put this in B tier. I like this logo. Ooh, yeah, I like Who, this logo. Yeah, sailor hat. Oh, look look at that. They all they're all agreeing, Jared. Not and not with <laughs> they're me. They're all agreeing to put it in D. All right. I, yeah. No. No. I do I think this is an A, but I'm docking it to to B. <laughs> because of the inappropriate use of a sailor hat, but uh, everyone's shouting me down in the chat. So okay. I, I guess I'll keep um, going. There's two more. Looks like you got two more here. There's one on the far right there, the green one. Uh, oh, yeah. NC, n- NC State. This, I, I don't like know the, why. So this is actually. A sailor hat, but, but it works. This is a modern. They had an old. They had an old logo that looked like this, they modernized it. And this is now the standard primary NC state athletics logo. I think it's fantastic. I do need the docket for the sailor hat. I, I still think it's an A tier. I think it's, I think it's a great logo. I think based on your rank rate, your rankings here, ratings, it needs updated. Remove remove the sailor hat somehow. That's a, that's a tweak. So, that's a tweak, though, right? It's more of a it tweak. It needs updated. Thing. Okay. It, yeah, it's, it's more than a tweak, Jared. It needs updated. All right, that's fair. All right, um, and then you have a barely one. That one can go down to M tier. I don't I don't care for that one. Nope, that is actually a brew. Just another. Yeah, I don't. Oh, oh, that was UCLA. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's I don't care still, about that one. He he's wearing a bow tie. And a sailor's hat. That 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 can't stand. That that can't stand. <laughs> what about the one I put in the chat there, Jared? <laughs> okay, uh, moving it from the chat. We have yet another sailor hat. 
Wisconsin. Um, they're on the lake, at least. I don't know. It's it's bad. <laughs> That's real bad. Um, there's a, there's a sale total that rebrand you don't have on here, Jared. I'm sure there are. There, I couldn't fit all the sailor hats. Okay, I don't hate this one actually. <laughs> they were talking about the Texas one here. I don't. Yeah, no, we now have Texas. Uh, we the other one, by the way. I'm sorry. Um, was a Wisconsin sailor hat logo, which is hot garbo. I I don't I don't mind this Texas sailor hat logo. All, All sailor, sailor hats, hats with non, non aquatic yeah. animals are dumb. We agree. This will have to be docked. This has to be docked, doxed a letter point for an inappropriate use of a sailor's hat. Those are the rules. But I still think it's a good logo. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think I think maybe put that with either B or C there. I'm thinking B. I'm thinking B. It's not boring. Needs some updates, which is to get rid of the sailor hat. This is a solid right. logo right. minus the sailor hat. And by the way, the sailor hat's already falling off. Just go erase it. Just go erase it. That's a, that's an iconic logo. Otherwise, um, right, so uh, but if I we're talking, I think that I think that's um, all of the sailor hat ones here. So let's let's move let's move away from the sailor hats here, Jared, and talk about some other logos here. Can I get an exception to include my favorite high school mascot? We'll look at it, but we won't rank it. How about that? Um, all right, we were just talking about Texas. Uh, this is perfection, in my opinion. Instantly recognizable. Works small, works big. Single color. They get away with a single color with a silhouette. This this is perfection, in my opinion. Yeah, it, it is definitely S tier. It is. Classic Texas Longhorn. I don't know if we're if we're including talking about colors or not too. But goddamn that Texas burnt orange is a pretty color. Yeah, <laughs> you, you hear that Tennessee and Clemson? This 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 is the this is the best orange here. Uh we're going to take a quick look at this thing Duncan just popped into the notes. Poco High School. Okay. Home <laughs> Maybe. Home of the Dots. Oh, oh well, yeah, okay, I guess it would be Poco, huh? Uh I, I at least you tried, but I'm not ranking it. <laughs> at least you tried. <laughs> All right. Um, moving a little. Let's see. Let's see if we can do some rapid ones here, Jared. Uh, Cal. Cal Fine, is just a boring. Oklahoma is boring. Washington is boring. Yeah, Oklahoma. You don't get points just because you're good. It's still just a boring ass logo. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Georgia, Georgia, same way. Michigan or um, no, no, no. Uh, Mississippi we need, State. I want to talk about Georgia. We oh, you're we, right. You're right. we set precedent here that stealing logos is bad. Yeah, this is a and straight that, that, up theft of the Green Bay Packers logo. Yep, and that should go right to E, right to the E. Need a total rebrand. I agree. And you got so many other great ones out there too. Like Georgia has some really good alternate, alternate logos yeah, that should do. be their permanent ones. I they they've had some pretty good ones. I don't know if I've ever seen any of the ones where I'm like, yes, that one. And if you and by the way, if you disagree with me, Kyle, or literally anyone in the chat, pop the logo in. We'll rank it. All right, we need to since we're talking about disastrous logos, may I introduce everyone? Okay. I do like that one a lot. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, may I introduce to everybody uh, Clemson's logo from, I believe, at some point in the 60s. God, that one just needs to be just burnt, like throw that in the dumpster and just light that dumpster on fire. It's, it's a, it's a it, for anyone uh, like just listening. The tiger is just sort of lounging inside of a sea like that tiger's high. I'll say it. 
<laughs> that that he just has a big old smirk on its face. That that tiger is high as fuck. All right. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks like the Pink Panther, and it's not even. It, it actually, yeah, no, actually, it does sort of look like the uh, Pink Panther model. It's not All even right. orange. It's trying to be orange. Uh, we have here a bulldog, and you know what, Kyle, you're right. I, I take it back. This is. The Pink Panther was totally high. I, I don't disagree. Kyle, you're right. This is this isn't perfection. This is solid. This is but a it's solid. Very I really solid. like this one from Georgia. I think this I think is their modern one that they've. No, I don't know when they posted this, their their current alternate logo is simply the state of Georgia with the G inside the state of Georgia. It's it's just boring as hell. I think this is an A-tier logo. This alternate, um, it still has the stolen G. Um, acknowledged. Um, when you've yeah, had a logo so that long, even if it's stolen spikes, no, like they, you kind yeah, of hold do. on to it a bit and like paying a little tiny homage to it is fine. Uh, Georgia Bulldog second. Oh, the so the one with the silhouette of Georgia is also, this one is okay. They have several secondary logos, and this is one of them. Mm -hmm. The one, the one next to there, the one with the Georgia hat. I always remember hat? seeing that one. I always remember seeing that one in the nineties. That that one, that one's a, that one is a. Um, I feel like that one's kind of like the nineties Ohio State one um, that you have down there too. It's just nostalgia for me. It's it's I, it's good. It's I, I don't I, like it's not, it. It's not S tier. It's not A tier. It might be it, a B. Just, it could be B. I'd be fine putting in in C as well. It's I like it. I don't think it's, it's boring. Um, if I, I think it's either B or D for me. Actually, most okay. of those are bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. I don't think many of the Georgia logos. Looking through all of them are are any good. Mm -hmm. but i i do i do like this one i do like the the not not the uh one we were just talking about the one but the one previous but kyle let's talk about some old who uses lowercase letters facebook mostly um let's talk about some who's using a lowercase uh one of the alternate georgia ones their basketball logos use lower g's it's literally the it's literally the picture you posted in the chat. Oh, I see up there. Okay. Kyle okay. Kyle says this one gives him nostalgia. I hate the ever loving hell out of this. I like it. I, I, I like hate it. this. I hate this. It was trying. This is so of its time. They, by the way, Ohio State only used this for a few years. I think this was like. <laughs> 87 to 92 or something like that. Ohio State tried to modernize um, and then said, we're sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry. And then they moved uh, basically, not not exactly, but basically to the logo that Ohio State uses now. Um, and then they've stuck with that one for the most part ever since there was an update to it. Um, I, can, I can hear the printer spitting, spitting that one out. The, this this <laughs> logo had the the strips on the side with the dots in it man it didn't last so long that's what i'm trying to tell you <laughs> <laughs> it's because it sucked this is terrible by the way green isn't an ohio state color it's literally the most prominent logo or color in this logo i hate this i still like it I still like it. Uh, chat, Kyle and I aren't going to agree on this one. Uh, what What are your thoughts? I would straight up put this in E. And by the way, I'm not wrong because they did do a total rebrand after this. I might compromise and put it in D. That that that's or, at or, least or you tried to you chat. We're leaving it up to you. It depends on I how much you B. like. No, it doesn't depend. Nostalgia should not play into this. It should be <laughs> the quality of the logo. 
if it's if you look at it and it's just two of that time and say, well, if you if you liked the we're ranking logos, you can be a homer a little bit. Right. I agree. But sometimes when you're being a homer, that includes, you know how if your best friend fucks up, you have to go and tell them they fucked up because they need to hear it from the, from, from you, from their best friend. That's what this is. This is me loving Ohio state so much that I need to sit them down and have an intervention and say never again. Hey, you fucked up here. This is, so this is our cousin, Eddie. That's not the exact analogy I was going for, but yeah, that's my opinion. All right, keep, all right, go ahead and keep that in D. And let's pull up the other Ohio State one that you have down there, too. I love this logo. I love this logo. Um, I can't, we can't go like full perfection with it because it's because of the green and the brown. Um, but I like this logo a lot. Um, I, I think this is, I think it needs some updates. I think it needs some color updates. Um, I would put this in a, I don't know if, I don't know if it's a or B tier to like recolor it. Like it, is that a minor tweak or is that an update? Um, so this is a or B for me. Funny, funny thing while I'm waiting to see chat, um, while we're waiting for chat to, to chime in here, Ohio State does not have any active, according to according to their pages here, they do not have any active alternate logos right now. That's according to sportslogo.net. Um, mm-hmm. I think their like active alternate logos are probably like Brutus, which I think the sport, I think the logo site puts that i could check that you can check their actual branding which i might do oh my goodness there's a lot of brutuses (laughs) yeah um all right kyle i don't i don't know if chat has a definite opinion on this one um i'm fine with a or b yeah just put that in b then put that in b so all right um, if we're talking hold on real quick i have a surprise i have a surprise this needs updates right i present to you an updated version of this logo that I made. What are our thoughts on this? We're not, we're, I don't uh, know if we're going to rank it or not. Cause it's not still, real. I made it. It's still B tier. God damn. You, you God. can't really, it's, it's hard. It's hard to see. It's hard to see the leaves too much. Yeah, exactly. What is these spikes? It's too much clashing there. At, 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 at least I tried. At least you tried. Yep. You can. At all least right. I tried. Moving on here. Let's let's find some let's find some unique ones in here. Jared. Hold on. We're for, let's let's, let's finish. Let's finish out the Ohio State run. This is the modern logo. They have, for the most part, had this since, um, what about ninety two ninety three? They did update it a few years back because the ten years ago. Was it 10, 10 years, years ago? ago where they basically just filled in the letters, which I think was needed. I think it was an excellent. Uh, there you go. Kyle puts it in the chat. 2013. Um, I, I thought this was a needed and this is a needed and welcome update. I can throw both of these up here real quick. Um, yeah, there's just too much going on with the out like outlying outlining the the letters there. Just make it, you just made it solid, bold. I like it. It's a lot I, better. I, I think it, I think it moved it from A to S. I, I really think I that filling in those letters was an A plus maneuver. Yep. Agreed. All right. Okay. Uh, let's um, find some other interest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, here, what, here's Kyle. I like the Hawaii logo. Thoughts? It, it's, it does things differently with the, with the letter here. Yeah. But it is just a letter. <laughs> right. But I think that they sort of reached into Hawaiian culture and introduced so would, some iconography. So I would give it a little bit of um, a little bit of an edge to all those others in the C. So I put that in B then. I think this is at least an A. I know I it's just a B. letter. All right. Well, we'll we'll go with what you said. Um, 
but right, I like um, it. some unique ones, some unique ones here, Jared, that I'm, I'm looking at here. Uh, what about Florida? The, the gator, the gator head there. There's a lot to like and a lot to dislike about this. <laughs> See, Spikes was quick to answer that one. <laughs> He's a hardcore Florida hater, though. Uh, we have to acknowledge this about Spikes. <laughs> Uh, I was giving Ohio State's logo crap, and if I'm going to do it to Ohio State, you know I'm going to do it to Florida. For having like a big green element in their logo when green is not one of their colors. That's annoying to me. The mouth seems busy. Mm, phrasing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think if honestly, if they made the gator white, I think this would be a much better logo. I wonder if I can pull that off super quickly. That's not Jerry because we are running long on time and we do have a bunch more here. So, okay, yeah, that 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 went poorly. That went poorly. We're yeah, not we're nope. not doing that <laughs> live. So I, w- um, I would say I would say B. I'd say B tier. Let, let's get the mm. update. Let's let's really bring out the colors of the school a little bit more. It's good. I like the logo. Just an show, albino show gator. Yes, little, spikes. Show off your colors a little bit more. An albino gator. I agree. Yes. Make the gator an albino, and we'll mm. talk. Um, what, what are, what are some unique logo here? Um, Iowa, I, what about Iowa? That, that, that one is a, towards the top there. That one's one that you show that to people and they would recognize that. Yeah. It's clean. Um, it's classic. I, I do think it needs an update. It's I the feel right colors. It's the right colors. <laughs> I do think it needs, I think it needs a bit of an update. I feel like you would go in there, make maybe the lines a little bit sharper, a little bit more defined. Minor tweaks. I would say minor tweaks. Yeah. Okay. That's, I think that's fair. Okay. Just a, just a Um, modern, a a quick modernization, a quick modernization. I I, I think one with minor tweaks here and may get some, may get some hate here, but I really like their alternate uniforms when we talked about, about them, um, a few episodes ago, ECU. I really like ECU's logo there. Do I have where yep. where where is left, it? Left left towards next to the Cardinal. Uh, up three. Up three, left, down, left, left. There you go. Yeah, I, I, I do like the ECU logo. And it's the right colors. Hey. <laughs> Imagine if the skeleton were green. Um yeah, yeah I this think is a- I think, and by the way, it's kind of hard to do uh, like a Jolly Roger thing because it's been done to death and have it come across unique. I think they did a decent job of that. They did. Yeah, I put that in A. It's not perfection. No. It's it's good. It's very, very, very good. Yeah, definitely an A tier. Yes. All right, Kyle, let's uh, let's talk a little bit of Bama. Um, Yes, this is a real Alabama logo. That looks like Auburn's logo in on it. <laughs> yeah, it, it sure does. We had, that, that looks to the Auburn AU for sure. Um, this is an abomination. Um, someone was trying yeah, to be Doctor Seuss and failed terribly. Yeah, let's just keep that there and move on to <laughs> to another one here, Jared. Uh, I said Appy States logo was boring well that's because they moved They're away from though. this man although yeah it, did they did they reclassify this as an alternate or was this always an alternate i don't remember um kyle i believe is looking it up kyle looking it up but i i i this is a man who i would follow into the mountains uh this is the, i this is not perfection but uh, damn close i like this a lot i think this is an a tier Davy this Jones, was their primary logo. This was their primary logo for three years in in oh nine to twelve. And then did they did they demote it to a secondary logo? Is that what happened? Um, no, they're they're secondary right now, Jared. Oh, is it the old Mountaineer? 
<laughs> yes. Okay. okay. We're, we're, we'll get to the old Mountaineer. How, how do you want to rank this one? This one's this one's good. It's it's definitely different compared to a lot of the ones we're seeing in here. So I'd say like a, I would say like a B borderline A. I, a A then because it's an A to me. Um, but instead, they've opted for this man. That looks like um, Wake Forest. Or let me find Wake Forest. I don't know what that looks like. Um, that looks like trash is what that looks like. We're, we're, we're throwing that one in the trash, Kyle. Uh, moving on. All right, let's... Kyle, have you ever seen this Clemson logo before? Um, no, and I don't think anybody should then. This is, this is a trash heap. Um, it, I don't, I don't even know what, I don't, I, I lack the words to describe this. Um, you have a completely, uh, what is this font? Why is the font black? And just what the hell happened to this tiger? Yeah, just get rid of it. Just that, like, whatever Clemson's trying to do, it's, it's just not going for him. It's just like, I feel like at least you tried is an accurate description here, but I'm not putting it in D tier. No. So I guess just to finish up their current Clemson's current logo, though, you have at the you have at the very top there. Fine, but boring. Yeah. Fine, but boring. Uh, it's just the, it's paw, a, it's the paw, print paw print is everywhere. How many high schools have a paw print logo? Now, now. Pull up Cincinnati's. That one is different. Cincinnati's I, I agree. Is different, but, though. Uh, real quick, the the Deacon here, the Wake Forest Deacon. Mm-hmm. It's it's similar. It's similar to what um, Appy it's State a top hat, not there. a sailor hat. No, this is way. <laughs> this is it's the same basic idea of the Appy State Mountaineer, but way, way better execution. I, I don't hate this. this. This was their alternate logo from 68 to 92. I, I I'm putting that in B tier. I like it. <laughs> I'm like I'm not even um, kidding. I like that. Uh, which one was I just saying? Cincinnati. Uh, sorry, it got me distracted here. Um, Cincinnati. Yeah, Cincinnati. Now, better paw print. It's a, it's a letter C, but it's just not just the letter, and you kind of like Hawaii in a way. I, yeah. I really like I really like Cincinnati's here. They so did I, they did something with the letter. With like they they combined the letter and the paw print. They used some and imagination, it's right and it's the right it's- colors. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it, it is going to go in B. I I think it's B. It's they the logo matches their school, uh, I their think colors, it's an a. and their mascot. I think it's it, an A. It goes well. I think it it's goes an a. well. It's B, Jared. No, no, it's B, Jared. It's B. You got you got one saying don't put it higher than C. And then I say B, you say A, so we got to meet in the middle and put it in B. Hmm. Funny how the middle was your answer. Hmm, I know, right. All right, um, all right, lightning around here, Jared, because we are uh, a little bit longer here, but... Air Force. Uh, Air Force. Fine, but boring, Sorry. but... Sorry, yeah, it's that's got to go into. Come C, on, sorry. you're the Air Force. You have such amazing iconography and history. Go into that well. Yep. Go into that well. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about um, the. Uh, I want to talk about the Northwestern N. I do not want to put this in fine but boring. You'll never convince me this is not a sideways Z. You'll never convince me this is not a sideways Z. This is a Z, not an N. Or a two? I'll, I'll turn it. What's it? Is this is this a Z or an N? A Z or an N? Camera <laughs> right, one? Do, do whatever you want. Camera it, two. Jared. We're spending too much Camera time on one? Northwestern's logo. <laughs> At least you tried. Um, what are some inter- interesting ones here, Jared? Kyle, I believe this is North Carolina State. I like this logo. 
No, that, that is not North Carolina State. That is sh- that is Charlotte. Uh, UNC Charlotte. Okay. It's sure, UNC Charlotte. Sure, North Carolina State's the Wolfpack. What was I doing? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. UC Charlotte. I like this logo. I like this logo a lot, actually. It, it's different. But it's He's nothing got a that I, like, I really like about it. I, I like I, I like this color. S- well, hold on. Maybe I'll explain what I really like about it. You got this color swirl, which is there are two neutrals plus their color, which is uh, an orange or excuse me, a uh, gold color. It's they come down here in a swirl and they come up into the fist. And then we see basically that same design through the pickaxe. I think this is a plus design. My only his- issue here, I would say, is the font. I don't care for the font and I don't care the way they shadow, the way they two tone the font. And that's not that's not their current. That's not their current one, though. I don't know if it's their current one or not, but this is the it, one it's that's not. from theirs I like. They went something boring. That's at least you tried territory there. Yes. Jared wants the Air Force logo to be the Enola Gay. I'm cool with that. I would like that more than a than a t- just like a typical AF. Kyle, I think this is minor tweaks. Anything they okay. need to go back to this, and they need to do some minor tweaks. Maybe just clean up the font a little bit, and I think that's a superior logo. Right. Hey, um, Kyle, do you remember t- when USC used this? No, I don't. I don't. No one Jared. does, and for good reason. <laughs> this is trash um i think one that's unique here that we're not that we're kind of skipping here jared is penn state i i know ohio state fans don't want to hear this but this is a super solid logo it is it really is they they did themselves some favors by um getting rid of that weird like I was just saying with the with the uh, Charlotte 49ers there. Penn State did themselves a favor by getting rid of that weird font that used to sit underneath this logo. It looked like a tennis ball font. Um, I hated it. Uh, then they just they just go in straight with the logo. Kyle. I don't know if this is S tier profession for perfection. I think they could clean it up a tad. Yeah, that's that's the tennis ball font. Yeah, good good job cleaning it up. Um, I, I still think they could clean up the lines a little bit, but I think it's instantly recognizable. It's two tone. I, I think this is an A tier. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right. Um, what about Miami's normal one? It's it's a I don't unique- know. I don't know if this is the correct critique. But I just hate Miami's just like the U. Cool, you're a university, just like all the other 130 some programs in FBS. I don't think it's a good color combo. I'm just criticizing the university more than I'm criticizing the logo at this point. Um, But it's their branding. It is their branding. And I don't understand it or like it. Yeah, I have a hard time ranking it too. It is unique. But is it? It's nothing. It's nothing special too. It at, at least at least they. It's not just a typical. <laughs> least, it's not a typical font. It's not a typical font. At least they with all the ones that you see in the C tier. At least they. And it's not. At hmm? least they tried. Okay. Right, <laughs> fine. All right, Kyle. Uh, this is an old school Cincinnati Bearcat logo. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Look like something that came out of your nightmares. <laughs> but that—that's a printing error, is what that is. <laughs> uh, what about LSU's? What about LSU's there? So yeah, this is the old LSU logo. They just do a plain LSU now. They got rid of the the tiger. Um, But this is still, for the most part, what appears on their helmet. Uh, There's too many lines. Um, I prefer their Tiger Eye logo, which is, I think, their secondary logo that they put on the 50-yard line. 
um, this is too busy for me. I think they could use, I think they could use like some, are, some big updates. How about, how about their, one of their alternate logos as their primary? Yeah. The tiger eye. That's what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. I like the tiger eye. I like the tiger eye a lot more than. Or, or if they, or if they really want to keep their, keep their letters there. Cause they, I mean, do that one. I don't like that. Uh, okay. they, they they need to learn a lesson from. It, need, it needs updated. So B. Yeah, that, that can go to B. I, I do like the I do like the LSU font for what that that's worth. I do like the I do. Font. I do, too, but it needs updates. And that's why it's in B tier there. All right. Um, all right. Just a few more, Jared, and then we got to wrap it up here. Um, I want to talk about UC Santa Barbara. Oh, that one's unique. Is it good, though? No, it's okay. unique. <laughs> I think that's great if you're a software company. <laughs> At least you tried. <laughs> At least you tried. Um, OK, I talk oh, about Georgia I, I, Tech. I, I is, talk about is that icono- Georgia text that I see there. Hold on. I talk about iconography. This is some good iconography mm. from the army. Mm. This is perfection. That's good. It's it's that's, near perfection. Really I think one. you can clean it up a little bit. I think it's an A. Very good. Very good. A? Is that Georgia is that Georgia Tech's I see right there the the uh I think that's Georgia Tech. No, 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 it's not. No. Um, I, I, I only had the, one Georgia Tech and I already put it over here because it's just a GT. What's the one that's next to Florida State there? Is that um yeah. Wichita State? Wichita State, yes. I love this logo. This is. It's it's I would clean it up a little bit. I would go in and take out some of the lines. Um, I think it's an A tier. Yep, A tier. I agree. Um, by the way, I think this is if we're talking about just letters. This is not bad execution on just letters. I think they could sharpen it's high, it up. It's a, it's like a C plus. <laughs> it's like the I, best of the. Um, no, that's all Hawaii. those. Hawaii's the. Yeah, it's, is it still is it still boring? It's still C. It's still C, but it's got to go like probably the best of all the C's there. <laughs> uh, good job, West Virginia. You're the best of all the C's, which ironically is also their admittance process. Um, <laughs> um, okay, Kyle, this, this is, this is a controversial one. Ar- this is one Arkansas you either State. love or hate. Arkansas state. Isn't this one of those that you look at it a different way and it looks like a different icon. You're thinking of the bulls logo, which yeah, I know if you turn it, if too. you turn the bull logo upside down, it, it looks like a robot reading a book. Uh, this, if you don't believe this me, looks look like it a up. wolf crying. It, that, people do call it the crying wolf. Mm-hmm. This is a logo people either love or hate. I think it could be cleaned up a little bit and be perfection. What are your thoughts, Kyle? Yeah, I. I think, yeah, I think definitely it, there's definitely a lot of cleaning up it can do there. Maybe something about the lines with get, it. get rid of the, could, get rid of the tier lines. Yeah, I think it could be a lot better. Uh, and then it would be like really, really good. OK. Um, Arkansas, since we're talking about Arkansas State. Here's an old Arkansas State for you. It looks like. Oh, wow. If the inflatable tube man outside of outside of a car dealership was a logo. Yeah. Yeah. That one's that one's terrible. That one's terrible. They so. did a total rebrand. Good for them. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. All right, Spikes. Jared. All right. I think I think that's about all the time we have here, Jared. Um, hold on. I love Kansas State's logo. Can we talk about Kansas State super quick? Mm-hmm. It's clean. It's one color. It tells the story. Thoughts? Yeah, it's it's okay. 
A. I think it could be better, but only through tweaks. Um, All right, I'm fine. Are we good? Yep, I think we're good. We're good, Jared. Okay. Just trying to see if there's anything on here I'd be upset if we didn't at least talk about. Um, just everyone look at that 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 snake. It isn't that funny looking. Talk about iconography. This is the old navy up. These this is the old navy logo. Way better than the new navy logo, which is boring. I'm gonna toss that in B tier. Okay. And I, I think we'll leave it at that. All right. A lot of these should end up will end up in fine but boring. Just just running my eyes over this real quick. Fine but boring. Fine but boring. Fine but boring. Fine but boring. Um. Kyle. Youngstown State Penguin. You can put that in B. You can put that B. It's like it's like the Kansas one. I disagree, but whatever. All right. Trestles Penguins. Exactly. Nah, screw you. I'm putting that in A. It's too good. It's too good. All right, we move forward or I'll keep going. Hold on. Real Last quick. one, Jared. You don't have to rank it because we don't have it there, but what about... All right, we're going back. We're going back. This one's Kyle's fault. What about this one here? All right, I do have the, I do have the Bowling Green logo. It's not exactly that logo, though. Um, I have to say, I do prefer it without the BG next to it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say this about Bowling Green. They do better with orange. They do better with their orange and brown color scheme than the Browns do. And like through their uniforms and everything else, too, I think they do a better job with it. Um, I, this, this could use a little bit of work, but I think they're on the correct path. I'll put it in B tier. Thoughts? Yeah. B tier is fine. Yeah. I, I, I like, I like the Hawk again. I think it's hard. I think it's very hard to do something original with a bird. Um, but I think they did it. Yep. Okay. All right. That's it, Jared. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> all right. Uh, back to this screen. Okay. Uh, Kyle, I think that's it. Do you have any, uh, anything in Kyle's corner since we're running over on time? Well, I don't want to talk about the crew because that was a terrible, terrible game to start the season. So we will not talk about the crew. Well, Kyle, somebody won for what is us today. Yeah. Basketball team won. The basketball team won, Jared. I how <laughs> did that happen? How did they that got, actually they actually how did that going. happen? Sure. They got things going. Sure. People people were actually making buckets. You know, that that always helps. If we're being yeah. honest, that always helps. Yep. All right. Anything else, Kyle, in the anything else in the uh, ask Kyle? No, I'm not, not, not ask Kyle. Not really. Kyle's corner. Not really here. I mean, you're, you're going to see a lot of th you're going to see a lot of things from winter workouts here. A lot of hype things and all that. We just. It is what it is. En enjoy. Enjoy the minor hypes during the winter workouts here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, enjoy that. Because what else are you going to do? Watch basketball. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the show. Uh, tonight's uh, ending music will be brought to you by a band out of Cincinnati called Mother Folk. Uh, they just released a song a couple weeks ago, or at least they released a new video for a song a couple weeks ago. So I'll be linking that down in the notes. Um, so, Kyle, with all that being said. I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Mother Folk. <laughs>